Now let's discuss the Luo connecting channel of the lung. So here is a very simple illustration of the Luo connecting channel. So from the lung seven, the Luo connecting channel travels to the palm and thinner eminence. After separating from the main channel at lung seven, the lung connecting channel connects with the large intestine channel. From lung seven, a branch flows to the thinner eminence where it scatters. So let's discuss in detail the pathway of the lung luo connecting channel. The lung luo connecting channel system separates from the lung primary channel at lung seven and forms a three-dimensional reticular network dividing into multiple branches and sub-branches within the surrounding tissue. Horizontal divisions course to the interiorly exteriorly paired large intestine primary channel. According to some schools, they travel as a transverse lung luo vessel to the Yuan source point, to LI4. A longitudinally orientated division spreads on the palm and thinner eminence. So clinical importance of the lung luo connecting channel. Excess, there will be hot and burning sensations in the palms and the wrist joints. For deficiency conditions, there will be yawning, shortness of breath, frequent urination, and enuresis. So again, the lung luo connecting channel separates from the lung primary channel at lung seven, follows the lung channel into the palm and spreads through the thinner eminence, connects with the lung channels interiorly, exteriorly related large intestine channel. The lung channel of Han Tai Yin is interiorly exteriorly coupled with the large intestine channel and paired with the spleen channel according to six channel theory. The lung large intestine relationship is further strengthened by the fact that the interior pathway of the lung primary channel descends to the large intestine Fu. A branch of the lung primary channel separates from lung seven to connect with LI1. The lung luo connecting channel connects with the large intestine channel. The lung divergent channel descends to the large intestine Fu and connects with the large intestine channel in the neck. It is helpful to note that the lung primary channel originates in the middle jaw in the region of the stomach. The lung primary and divergent channels ascend to the throat. The lung channel does not connect directly with the nose, but does so indirectly via the large intestine channel. The lung has five principal functions, governing qi and controlling respiration, controlling disseminating and descending, regulating the water passages, controlling the skin and body hair, and opening into the nose. It is by virtue of these functions that many of the actions and indications of the points of the lung channel can be explained. This can be summarized as treating rebellion of lung qi manifesting as respiratory disorders like coughing, dyspnea, wheezing, asthma, and shortness of breath, restoring the lung's disseminating function when this is impaired by exterior pathogenic factors which lodge in the superficial portion of the body, treating nasal disorders including nosebleed and nasal obstruction, treating disorders of the throat such as dryness, soreness, congestion, swelling, and pain, treating edema and obstructed urination, when this is caused by impairment of the lung's function of regulating water passages and controlling, disseminating, and descending, and treating vomiting due to rebellion of stomach chi.